Gotcha. Ooh, scary face breakfast. Of course, it's got to be time for our annual charity fundraiser. The haunted house of Swamp. You got it, Dennis. Courtesy of the Bootenberger family, we're gonna create the most horrifying phantasmagoria of fear Bootsville has ever screamed. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm having a tea party with all my stuffed animals today. Come on, Mr. Cat. Okay, sweetie. Do it at the House of Swap while we set up the scares. But, Coop, I'm afraid you can't go on the tour this year. What? Why not? Because you're gonna be too busy hosting the tour this year, son! Really? You think I'm ready? I sure do! You'll be great! <laughs> <laughs> Anyone care to lend me a hand? <laughs> Feel free to scavenge anything that looks remotely scary. Not me. I've got a tea party to organize. Have a good time, honey. Ugh. These gigantic bones make me feel so strong. They're made of glow-in-the-dark, lightweight foam. Cool. Those give me a scary idea. <laughs> I gotta admit, the bone chandelier looks good, but is it scary? Watch this, Dad! Wow, it's gonna be great! This medieval basement is really shaping up. So, they slide down the greased ramp, then walk between the walls covered with these paper cups. You mean these deadly iron spikes? Keep up the good work, or should I say, the bad work. Oh no, Coop! Poor Millie will be crushed by those moving walls! Step on the floor switch. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Cat needs a party hat. Hey, leave those alone! I'll need these to serve drinks in. Come on, Mr. Cat. What's this room supposed to be? This, son, is where the dead come alive. <laughs> and where your old man gets to have some fun. I'll be strapped to this table here. Flip that switch for me. <laughs> Relax, son. It's just harmless static electricity. I had to pack a lot of wool socks in that thing to make it work. Super realistic, Mr. B. Did you use alpaca wool? <laughs> hey, boys, can you come outside and help with the cemetery? Coming! A plain old harmless pond, until I add lime gelatin. Presto! Instant slime-filled swamp. Cool. This will be perfect for my tea party. Peeled grapes and gelatin make a yummy dessert. All right, Dad. The 
tripwire is set. When someone triggers it, out comes the ghoul. <laughs> Great job, boys. The Bootenburger Haunted House of Swap is ready. <laughs> The good thing all these traps are fake, Coop. Otherwise, we'd be goners. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> Welcome to the Bootenburger House of Scream. <laughs> <laughs> and for once, we'll be the ones doing the scaring. <laughs> nope, she's still the scary one. <laughs> good luck, son. You'll do great. Thanks, Dad. I won't let you down. Follow me for tonight's first Frightful Fear Fest! <laughs> ah, baby! Oh, I'm scared, Coop. I might have to hold your hand for the whole tour. Uh, I'm already scared. It's not too late to back out if you have an existing heart condition. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man! This is lame! Those skeletons are people who are bored to death waiting for something scary to happen. Whoa. Are you kidding me? I want my money back! Oh, uh, that was just a warm-up. They're scared galore! have been encased in concrete. You mean, I was almost flattened into a pan coop? Then what's waiting for us? <laughs> Inside! Dennis, it's Cat. He's rigged all the pranks to be real. Two are canceled on account of potential sudden death. Everybody back out the way we came. <laughs> the door's locked. Of course it is. Everyone knows that's a standard horror movie convention. Yeah. Now we're forced to keep going through the house, even though it could kill us. Let's go. But, but, but it really could kill us. Sure it could. Every year it's the same thing. <laughs> Is everyone all? <laughs> I'm a lady, not a toboggan. <laughs> Not very realistic. Look, these spears don't even have any metal tips on them. A spear with no tip ain't nothing but a stick. Why would anyone steal spear tips? I think I know. <laughs> ah! Okay, everybody, keep moving. There's lots to see ahead. Don't rush me. I didn't get to be my age by bouncing around like a kangaroo. But we gotta hurry. These spikes are real. <gasps> <laughs> hey, what's the magic word? <laughs> that was almost mildly thrilling. Okay, everybody, keep it moving. My hero. Ugh. No good deed goes unpunished. <sighs> I'll take my property back, thank you very much. Behold! What's so scary about a lumpy bed sheet? If we wanted to see an unmade bed, we could have just stayed home. I don't know about this, Dennis. If Cat messed with this switch, Dad could. It's too dark in here. Turn on the lights! <sighs> what a surprise. Even the lights don't work in this dump. I don't know how, but we dodged another cat bullet. <laughs> Coop? Coop? Son, you forgot to throw the switch! <laughs> wow, guess I packed a few too many socks in there. <laughs> and now we must cross the deadly swamp of despair! <laughs> Don't go in the water! Ah! This swamp is delicious! It's full of deadly piranhas! The only deadly thing here is your bad acting! <laughs> Look more like guppies to me! Whoa! Well, slow down! It's your bad fun of hovercraft! Ah! Okay, uh, everybody off to the cursed sand!
cemetery. On your right is the Tomb of the Undead. That's the ghost mausoleum. On your left, and look for various zombie corpses. Thanks for coming, and watch your step on the way out. This isn't gonna be pretty. <laughs> There's a switch. Oh, Mr. Cat! I've been looking all over for you. Oh, man, that tour was a disaster. Dad's gonna be so disappointed in me. <laughs> that was totally worth it! <laughs> Coop, you gotta see it to believe it! <laughs> I'm going again just to get another look at that weird lumpy ball thing. <laughs> Try the peeled grapes, Mr. Cat. They're delicious. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't get more grotesque than that. Great job, son. I knew you could do it. Thanks, Dad. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> This northwestern exposure is working wonders for my ferns. <gasps> I'd recognize these kitty bites anywhere. Cat! <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> Millie, your cat is destroying my plants! Daddy, Mr. Cat is sorry, aren't you, Mr. Cat? Oh, I'm not buying what you're selling, Buster. Ooh, what you doing, son? Science project. Boring. Boring? There's nothing more thrilling than a tiny seed which, once fed and watered, germinates into a mighty oak. Uh, it's a carrot, Dad. It's the cycle of life, Coop. And now you get to see it in action. Nice shot, sport. I learned from the best, Dad. Daddy! <laughs> A gardener is only as good as his tool, son. You got your lawnmower, your weed spray, and these are the tools I used when I gardened with my dad. They look older than old Lady Munson. Nothing's that old, Coop. When the Big Bang formed the universe, she told it to keep the noise down. <laughs> Whoa, you're late for school. When you get home, we'll talk manure. Right. Don't forget to say goodbye to your plants, son. Huh? Plants love it when you talk to them. It's a scientific fact. Then they'll love my singing most of all. La, 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 la singing to my plants. Oh, Bye, plants. Yes, Coop, the wonderful world of plants is opening up to you. <laughs> See, Daddy, my singing made it grow. I'm going to sing to all the plants. La, la, la. Coop, I'm impressed. You've got quite a green thumb. I did that? You sure did, son. In fact, I'm putting you in charge of all the houseplants from now on. Now, where did I put that sprayer? <laughs> ah, here you go. Work your magic. Here you go. <laughs> Bottoms up. <laughs> Not quite. There's still the backyard to water. Wow! My fern looks like a million bucks! We need to share your gift with the world. I'm calling the garden guru from the Bootsville Bugle. <gasps> okay, that's weird. Is this a bad...
back time. Cat put something in the water. Now he's got us under his evil green claw. Huh? Yeah, this is the worst problem I've ever had with Blanche's hay fever. Yeah, I think we're done in the garden for today. <laughs> Congratulations! The Bootsville Bugle wants a shot of you standing right in the middle of all these magnificent plants! Uh, in the middle of these plants? Oh, yeah! Is that exciting or what? Oh, it's exciting, all right! Okay, according to man-eating plants, you should be fine as long as you don't arouse the plants with body odors, sweat, or movement of any kind. Got it. No movement or smells. Coop, the gardening guru himself, Mr. Mulch, is here to see you. My, my, I must admit, I find your claims hard to believe at first, Mr. Battenberger, but this growth is truly remarkable. I think it's go time. Remember, no sudden movements and don't sweat. All clear. No sweat, I hope. Young man, I'm very impressed. Such variety, such size. Some people pop in a few petunias and geraniums and think they're master gardeners. I told you, son. But this garden really reaches out and grabs you, doesn't it? <laughs> it sure does. There's a better view over here. Why don't we start the tour upstairs? Follow me, Mr. Mull. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. I'm sure there's a chapter on this. Ah! 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 I can't say! <laughs> uh, maybe if I sing like Nelly. Twinkle, twinkle, little star! Everybody's a critic. It's growing up so I can see this clearly. Ah! Racky cum multifeeder and Philippendula almaria, the beautiful daisy and spider plant. Beautiful. I couldn't agree more. I'll show you the yard now, uh, if I can find the stairs. Ah! Let go, you overgrown.
Revenge is a dish best served vegetarian. by now. Coop! What, what happened? Mr. Cat! You look all tuckered out. Dad! Uh, Mr. Malt! We were just, um, doing a little weeding. Hmm. Young man, I suggest you stick with cactus. Oh, and I hope you don't mind. I took a clipping of your fabulous St. Paulia Ionantha. <laughs> Come on, Dennis. We got some pruning to do. Hang on, Mr. Mulch! Hmm. Give a weed an inch and it'll take a yard. Oh, yeah. Everybody stay together. Welcome to the funnest place on Earth, boys. The Bootsville Museum. Nothing like a day of history to get the brain juices flowing. Ooh, gladiators. <sighs> it's going to be a long day. What? A long day without cat? <laughs> uh, must be my bracelet? Hey, we've got the same bracelet. How come you're set up the detector and mine didn't? Maybe mine is more metal -y. Lorne and Harley, put those spears back. Phoebe, those aren't pretty pony dolls. Please, we're here to learn, not to have fun. Not to have fun? Why, Miss Brannigan, history is wall-to-wall -wall fun. Oh, really, Mr. Burtonberger? Well, maybe you want to teach the class. Could I? Well, it's not that I... Okay, kids, these here are the weapons of the Roman gladiator, armed only with a trident and a net. Hey, keep your hands off those. Besides, you're holding it wrong. You snuck Cat in? Maybe. But if you tell on me, I'll tell Dad you snuck downstairs and ate all the cookies last night. I didn't do that. Oh, well, it was worth a try. Please don't tell, Coop. Mr. Cat will stay in my backpack, I promise. <laughs> hey, keep your paws inside the ride. Just make sure Cat stays in there. Wherever he goes, trouble follows. For me. Of course he will. What's there to do in a boring old museum anyway? The Romans used these sharp swords to battle each other to the death. <laughs> Then the gladiators would jump into chariots and race around fighting. Miss Brannigan, Coop's dad is like the coolest school chaperone ever. Yeah, it's like I'm not even learning stuff. Woo! He's uh enthusiastic, all right. Actually, the chariot races were more like car races, except the chariots had mechanical horses and steam-powered jetpacks. Oh. Jetpacks? Come on. We've got bigger problems than historical inaccuracies. Look! Leave me alone, doggy. No! Phew, that would have been blamed on me for sure. Um. Oops. Ugh. Stay close to me, Coop. Do you have any idea what that urn cost? Now, the T-Rex, as you can see, had short, stubby arms, and this was so... so he could keep his poker hand hidden from his opponents. That's ridiculous. The T-Rex never played poker. He was a great beast who would tear apart his victims. And with his arms, he... Oh, he would tickle his prey into submission. Yay! Dinosaurs are supposed to be scary, not tickle monsters. You want scary? There's a lot of sharp things in this museum a certain cat can use on us. There he is! 
There's that guard dog. I got an idea. What do you have in your lunch? Um, a mushy banana peanut butter bologna sandwich. <laughs> Here, Poochie, Poochie, Poochie. <laughs> <laughs> The dinosaurs will lure them into a trap using pizza as bait, then devour the caveman whole. Impossible! They never existed at the same time. How could any dinosaur have had pizza? Looks like that one just made dinner out of coop. Nerd burgers again. <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. There's no such thing as Egyptian daddies. Oh, really? Then who lived with the mummies, genius? Hey, Coop, isn't that your sister in one of those Egyptian comic strips? <laughs> oh, careful! These hieroglyphics tell the tale of the curse of Tootin Kitty. Whoa! Curse of Tootin Kitty? <laughs> There's no such thing. It says here, in 100 BC, a strange hairless cat, Tootin Kitty, appeared in Egypt. Legend says he cursed the land with misfortune. It's cat! Let me see! The pharaoh tried to banish Tootin Kitty, but the cat was under the protection of the princess. That's the one that looks like Millie! <gasps> and the pharaoh! It's me! Tootin' Kitty battled for the throne, only to be defeated and trapped in this tomb. Aha! See? He was defeated. No oh, curse. Oh, no! Right here it says. But legend has it, one day this tomb will open, and Tootin' Kitty will return with his powerful cat army to seek his revenge. <laughs> hey! I'm not making this up! <laughs> Oh, evil Kitty meets Tootin' Kitty. That can't be good. Get me a glass of water, servant. I'm an Egyptian princess. Just because you look like a pitcher on a coffin doesn't make you the boss of me. No, no. The Egyptians didn't use paper mache to make mummies. Get to the part where they suck the mummies' brains out through a tube of their nose. Uh -huh. Awesome. <laughs> It wasn't me! I swear it was Cat! A cat? Was it Tootin' Kitty? <gasps> no, no, no! There's no such thing as Tootin' Kitty! It's all a big misunderstanding. That's enough shenanigans from you today, Cooper Burtonberger. Sit down by Miss Brannigan and don't move. Miss Brannigan, I, uh, have to go to the bathroom. Be my guest. <laughs> Gotta find Cat. I think he's trying to release Tootin' Kitty. <laughs> On to the next exhibit, kids. The Terracotta Warriors. Action figures for giants. What? Coop. How are we gonna stop Cat? The only thing he's afraid of is that guard dog. Or another dog. You keep watch for the guard. for giants. They were made for a Chinese emperor hundreds of years ago. A giant Chinese emperor? Whoa. Whoa. What was that? I 
think it was a cat. <laughs> Don't be silly. Why would a cat come to a museum? <laughs> <laughs> Time to go, kids! What happened here? It's obviously the work of Tootin' Kitty's Curse! No, it wasn't. It was Coop and Kitty's Curse. Yep, that's what it must be. Thank you so much. Bye now! Wait! I want to see the gift shop! I think we have enough memories of today's visit, sweetie. Allow me. 
You're doing the right thing. You deserve a better owner. Free at last! Mr. Jet is gone! <laughs> wow. Hey, what's this letter? <laughs> Mr. Cat? Millie, what's wrong? Mr. Cat is gone! <laughs> the pound. I knew it was too good to be true. What if he was catnapped? Or run over by a steamroller? Or eaten by a polar bear? Oh my gosh, you're right! Uh, not with my luck. <gasps> Cat was here! Good work, Coop! Hooray for me. We're on the right track! This is risky bits. Uh-oh. Oh, come on! Another clue! Cat, frisky bits! Ew, could you smell any fishier? Look, Mr. Cat's paw prints! Follow those paws! <laughs> Hi ho, my darlings! Harriet's home with a new friend! Now, why don't you make some new friends while I go get some groceries? matter. I'll just go get some more. <laughs> Mr. Cat! The trail just stops right here. It's like he disappeared off the face of the earth. He didn't even keep our picture. I've lost him forever. <laughs> That's the saddest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah, so sad. Nothing more we can do here. Might as well head home. Oh, look at that dirty face. Someone needs a bath. Oh, hey, Will, someone certainly doesn't like baths. You're cold and shivering, and no wonder you've lost all your fur. We'll just have to make you a new coat, and you'll be a proper kitty again. Oh, a 
bit of brown, a dash of white, oh, and some black to bring out your eyes. You're gonna be so handsome. Yes, you are. <laughs> A pretty kitty now. I can't believe Mr. Cat is gone. At least you'll always have this nice picture to remember him by. I never meant to ignore him or hurt his feelings. Now he's gone forever, and I never got a chance to say goodbye. Huh. He's back. Mr. Cat? Ah! <laughs> Mr. Cat! Mr. Cat! Mr. Cat! Ah! I miss you so much. Don't you ever run away again. You found him. Ew. This is what all the fuss was about. Talk that way about Mr. Cat. I think you should leave. Leave? You'd seriously pick that thing over me? There's no room in my life for a cat hater. Except Coop. Now get lost! Fine! Goodbye! We don't need someone so over emotional, do we? <laughs> I was so worried! <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Cat. I promise I'll never ignore you again. I'm so glad you're home and everything is back to normal. 